Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Locum23, here. You're joining me for the app Choices. We're with Caitlin, the perfect date. And see, this is one of the reasons why I've saved diamonds. So let's go ahead and unlock a chapter one of one, shopping, retro, roller skating, and a legendary taco truck. Caitlin's planned the perfect big city getaway. Are you in? Special chapter, the perfect date. One weekend over break, you and Caitlin find a private compartment on the train to Northbridge. Um, <laughs> choose your face. All right. Well, we'll just go with what we had already. Um, choose your hair. I'm gonna keep true to the story here. Um, go with this one. My look is totally perfect. Let's go. Why not stay true to the... Doink! So, are you finally going to tell me what you have planned for us today? Hmm... Nope. Caitlin... It's a surprise, Mizumi. Telling you would defeat the whole purpose. Come on, you know you want to. Ugh. Okay, you got me. I'll show you one thing. Kaylin tilts her phone towards you, scrolling through a list of places and activities in Northbridge. Here, check this out. Supposedly, there's a super good, super hard to find, but extremely worth it taco truck called La Fantasma. Whatever else we happen to do today, it's my mission to make sure we get our hands on these tacos. Orders received. Caitlin switches off her phone and puts it in her purse, then reaches across the space between your seats to take your hand. Why are you so far away? Come sit by me. What should I do? Plan her to get, go sit by Caitlin, sit on Caitlin's lap. Hmm. Sit on Caitlin's lap. You get up from your seat and plop down in Caitlin's lap. Ah! How's this for close? This could work. Caitlin tilts her head up to kiss you, her hand lazily stroking your thigh. By the way, Caitlin, even though you've barely told me what we're doing today, thanks for planning all this for us. I'm really looking forward to spending today with you. Aww, it was no trouble. I just wanted uh, to make sure today was perfect, you know? It already is, as far as I'm concerned. Smooth. I try. Kim looks out the window, her smile fading a bit. Anyway, I feel like maybe I've been, well, kind of boring lately, because I've been doing so much more studying and so much less partying since, since, you know, my birthday and all that. But tonight we're going to stay out and make good Make it have a good time, okay? I promise. You know, I don't think you're boring. Like, at all, right? You don't have to put on a show for me. I'm happy just spending time with you. Yeah, I know. At least I th think I know. But you'll be a lot happier once we do all the stuff I've planned for us. Whatever you say. As a train pulls in the station in downtown Northbridge, you look out the window at the towering buildings and all the people passing by. Wow. This is a big change of pace from our quiet college town. Wait till you see our, our apartment is. You got us an apartment? Just for tonight. But yeah, you can thank me later. Believe me, I will. You and Caitlin grab your luggage from the overhead racks, step out on the platform, letting the rush of people carry you along to the sidewalk. Okay, according to my phone, we just have to go down a few streets, then over one. Lead the way. Soon, you and Caitlin find yourselves on the stoop of a charming, charming brownstone nestled between an espresso bar 
and a bicycle repair shop. Well, this is us. Ready? Ready. Caitlin fishes the key out from underneath the mat and slides it into the lock. She steps through the door, dropping her duffel bag and collapsing onto the couch. Ah, oh, I love it here already. Caitlin rolls over on her back and smiles up at you while you set your bags next to hers. What do you think? It's amazing, Caitlin. I'm especially excited about the view, the location, the bed. Um, I mean, unless she means the view of the apartment, which I kind of like the art, and it's kind of a cool layout. We haven't even seen the bed yet. Um, location, I like the espresso bar and the bike repair shop, I personally. This is such a cool part of town. There's shopping, coffee shops, nice restaurants. I knew you'd like it. I actually did, like, an embarrassing amount of research to find the perfect place. You're the best. I know. So, should we check out the rest of the apartment? Mmm, later. The train ride made me sleepy somehow. I can't leave the couch. Come and lie next to me. You join Caitlin on the sofa, smiling as she wraps her arms around you and plants a gentle kiss behind your ear. This is nice. Only for a little while, okay? We've got a schedule to keep. And this is not part of it. Maybe it should be. Caitlin laughs, her breath warm on the back of your neck. You wish. You look around the bright, sunny loft at the watercolor paintings on the walls and the rows of books on the shelves. It's so cool that this place is ours for the night. I know! Imagine if we always had a place like this, all to ourselves. Well, we do already live together. Technically. Yeah. But you know what I mean. I know. It's definitely fun to imagine. Let's make the most of it. Kaylin rose over on top of you, pinning her arms to the couch cushions as she leans down to kiss you. How's this for making most of it? Works for me. You close your eyes as Kaylin starts kissing you, softly at first, then more intensely. Your head swims as she starts kissing down your neck, your lips parting in a gasp, and you slip your hands under her shirt. Okay, I can see where this is going. Galen sticks back against the arm of the couch, your skin still tingling where her lips were moments ago. Hey, why are you stopping? We've got... You know, stuff to do, secret stuff that I can't tell you about yet. We can pick this up later, okay? Promise? Promise. Soon you and Caitlin are walking through Northbridge's bustling shopping district down a boulevard lined with designer stores and trendy boutiques. Ooh, are you taking me shopping? Even better, we're gonna go thrifting! I was thinking we could find some cute vintage stuff and reinvent ourselves for the weekend, you know? Like spies? Exactly like spies! Caitlin leads you in a cute thrift store with a trio of stylish dressed mannequins in the window. The proprietor smiles at you from behind the counter. Let's see... Anything catch your eye? You run your hands through the rack of vintage tops and jackets, taking a few here and there for the dressing room. Ooh, cute! You go try those on? I'm gonna keep looking for a bit. You try on a black leather jacket, a plaid skirt, and step out of the dressing room. Masumi! You look amazing! That jacket is seriously badass! You like it? 
Caitlin is in to kiss your cheek, making you blush. I love it. Just give me one second change. I've got a few things I want to try on. Caitlin disappears into the dressing room. You watch under the curtain as she steps out of her shoes. What should I do? Go in and surprise Caitlin? Wait outside. I mean, she only stepped out of her shoes. <laughs> um, this would be me. I slip silent past the curtain and into the dressing room to find Caitlin pulling her shirt up over her head, her face hidden by fabric. She shivers as you hook your fingers in a waistband of her skirt and pull her towards you. Sorry, I couldn't wait. Caitlin finally chugs her shirt off her head and shakes her hair free, a playful smile on her lips. I was hoping you'd get impatient. Pull Caitlin closer a ki and kiss her as she lets her shirt fall to the ground. Your hands start moving under her skirt. Oh. Too much? Cashier, yes. <laughs> you and Caitlin freeze as you notice the proprietor's patent leather shoes under the dressing room curtain. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. It's okay, just get dressed and get going, please. Wait. We want to buy some stuff. Fine. After banging, you and Kayla rush out of the store laughing. That was fun. You are such a bad influence. You know that, right? You weren't complaining a few minutes ago. That is not fair. I was just trying on some clothes like a decent, law-abiding citizen. Which, by the way, look amazing on you. That jacket is so cute. Flatterer, you're just trying to change the subject. As you walk down the sidewalk, Caitlin reaches out and takes your hand, smiling shyly. So, ready for the next part of our date? So long as it involves being with you, I'm in. The moon rises over the city as Caitlin leads you to a neon lit retro arcade and roller rink. You step inside, finding yourself facing a banker of retro arcade cabinets. The screen's flashing with ghosts, goblins, street fighters, and space invaders. Whoa! I feel like I just stepped into a time machine. I know, right? This place is totally... Oh, rad? Nerdy. Well, nerdy is a good thing. And look at this. The, yep, book one, most wanted. Ha ha. Oh, Crown the Flame too. Monster Mash. Ooh, maybe that's an upcoming one. I'm gonna go with Rad. You're such a dork. There are way too many games to choose from. Where should we start? You take Caitlin's hand and pull her over to a game called Monster Mash on the screen. Classic movie monsters. Duke it out while continue flashes red. Considering how much you love horror movies, this one looks right up your alley. You know me so well. Caitlin answers two quarters into the machine, and the character selection screen pops up. Who are you gonna be? I think I'll play as Frankenstein, Wolfman, the Invisible Man. Hmm. Frankenstein? Yeah, let's go with Frankenstein. On screen, Frankenstein groans as a challenge and flexes his muscles, straining against his tattered shirt. In that case, I'll be the bride of Frankenstein. Aww. I know, I know. I'm adorable. Caitlin about to hit start, then shoot you a sly look out of the corner of her eye. Actually, before I wreck you, Let's make it a little more interesting. Oh, yeah? What do you have in mind? Hmm. How about the winner gets to ask the loser a question? Any question. You're on. 
The fight begins. Caitlin dashes forward, sending a flurry of kicks and punches your way. What should I do? Fight back. Frankenstein lashes out with a lumbering haymaker, and it's too slow to interrupt the bride's attacks. Oh, how are you so good at this? Instinct, duh, I'm a born fighter. Uh, yeah? You spot an open in Caitlyn's defenses, and... Try to do a combo. Frankenstein lurches forward with a shoulder rush and falls it with a spinning roundhouse kick. Pride weathers the attack and retaliates with a devastating throw, sending Frankenstein crashing through the stained glass window of a gothic cathedral. No! Caitlin beat you at the arcade game. Player two wins. Flashes on screen as a bolt of lightning splits the stormy sky. Caitlin payfully bumps you with her hip. Looks like I get to ask you whatever I want. Okay, do your worst. Hmm, let me think. Ooh, I know. Where do you most like me to kiss you? Other than your lips, I mean. <laughs> hmm, neck, ears. I think you know where. Neck. Hmm, your neck, huh? Mm-hmm. Caitlin pushes you up against the arcade machine, holding your wrist at your side. Well, it just so happens I really like kissing you there. What a coincidence. You suppress a shudder as Caitlin starts kissing your neck, her soft lips and wet on your skin. Caitlin, we're in public. I'm just kissing you. Yeah. But if you keep kissing like that, I'm going to get way too excited. Oh, okay. I guess I have to just wait until later. I guess so. Caitlin releases you and the two of you. you wander hand in hand down the neon rows of arcade cabinets. Soon, you come across an old-fashioned claw crane, a game full of stuffed animals and other toys. Ooh, one of these things. I swear they make them impossible on purpose. I've never seen anyone actually win anything from one. Is that a challenge? Oh, are you going to win me one? Min eh, win me something? Is that what's happening now? Yep. Which toy do you want? Caitlin leans close to the glass, inspecting the pile of prizes inside. Hmm. I think I like that cute alien in the back. You mean the weird gray one with the long legs and shiny eyes? Isn't he cute? Look at his smile. He's so happy. Okay. One super creepy, not cute at all alien coming right up. You put a quarter in the machine and steer the claw towards the stuffed alien, trying to get it perfectly poised over the prize before hitting the button to make the claw descend. Wait. Nearly there. As you get the claw positioned directly over the alien, the timer ticks closer to zero. Mizumi, you're about to run out of time! What should I do? Hit the button. You stop the gun, and the claw descends. It grabs close to, on the stuffed alien. You got him, Mizumi! Oh. My. God! Let's just hope he doesn't fall out. The claw automatically glides back to its starting position. Over the chute, the alien heads precariously by its long, slinky legs. Come on, Travis! You're almost there! Travis? You're naming him Travis? Claw releases Travis, and he falls directly into the chute. Caitlin rushes over and pulls him out. Yay! You did it, Mizumi! You think I... You didn't think I could, huh? What are you talking about? I never doubted you for a second. You're about to correct her when Caitlin leans over and kisses your cheek. Cradling Travis like a baby. 
Thanks, Mizumi. Wanna go skating with me? Sure. You and Caitlin rent two pairs of skates and sit down to the bench to put them on. Once you're strapped in, you step out onto the gleaming wooden floor of the rink. Your leg's a little wobby. Are you going to be holding onto the wall the whole time? Um... No way, I'm just... Getting used to the skates? Maybe it's been a long time? No way, I'm just getting used to the skates. Find your footing and skate forward with confidence. Pumping your legs to build up momentum before settling into a smooth, controlled glide. Very impressive. But can you do this? Caitlin picks up speed and executes a complicated series of figure eights, ending in a graceful arbogues. Show off. Come here. Grab Caitlin's wrists and skate backwards, pulling her towards you as the DJ puts on a slow song. You know what I think, Mizumi? I think maybe you want to dance with me. Well, does she? We're going to go ahead and end this video. Feel free to look forward to part two, as I can tell this is going to be quite a long one, so it is kind of worth the 30 diamonds. And if you enjoyed this, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and look forward to part two. Have a good one.